people, we are in Argentina. There's Dan. This is a bus, not a bus we're taking, but one we're sleeping in. So dope, so crazy. Yeah, and guess what we're doing today? We are going to do some rope. What's it called? A little rope course. Rope course. Ha! Kind of yeah. like the strongman or whatever. Or yeah. Like the, pretty much just running relays or whatnot. The like relay competition one. Courses. Yeah. It's pretty sick. This place is so cool. It's a camp for, it's called, uh, organization is called uh, YWAM, and they hold these uh, disciple traineeship programs. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna be here helping out with the rope part of it for today. How yeah. sweet. This thing's really high. They're belaying all the way up to there. <laughs> Just to climb up, they ring the bell, and now they just let them go slowly. Really cool. So what a cool thing that they do here with the rope uh, circuit. And uh, they churches rent this place so that they can come over here and uh, get them to be able to do stuff like this. And at the end of each one, they do a little bit of a reflection where they talk about like what they can apply um, this sort of uh, uh, climbing to. And uh, it's really awesome to see um, these kids just go out there and enjoy their time climbing up here. So a lot of fun. Uh, today is Tuesday. Yeah. And we're heading over to dig a hole to patch up this little game that they have with a post. We got this awesome dog that just like hangs out with us. He just like walks with us, you know. <laughs> we walk it's over here, he's like comes, joins <laughs> us, and uh, you know, what do you call it? Like escorts our way over there. Yeah. Is there a guard post? Yeah. Let's see how it goes with the shoveling. Check it out. He's gonna help supervise. Let's dig this hole. <laughs> how cute is that? Ooh, you know, what was that, like five hours of shoveling? Yeah, you yeah. know, it's like, there's a lot of work to get yeah. that thing in the ground. Look at that. Maybe 20, 25, 30 <laughs> minutes. Actually, it was like <laughs> five minutes. It was the easiest job ever, actually. <laughs> also, put out tables and chairs. We so many. I feel like a real mountain climber. Look at all the ropes and gear. We're setting up for the course again for the next group of kids. They could be cancer patient kids from the hospital or just like kids of the doctors. We don't know yet, but we'll see. There they are, all the kids, so many of them. Look at that, oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is my 30th time pulling on the rope. So we're done, lots of dirt. This little doc, his name is Aaron. He's still with us, so cute. Been with us all day to do this, so awesome. Everyone, today we are moving mattresses so many mattresses. so many mattresses 50 of them all the way down the stairs and all the way to the other building ah. way down oh just toss it yeah here we are carrying mattresses yeah, yeah. this is the way over our heads <laughs> okay we got a grouping of mattresses we got to throw them up over here in that little opening okay so we put the mattresses over here and um yeah um, we're going to be working with these guys over here um, on the zip line and we're going to be doing the, uh, the, the trust call, I think, and uh, maybe the crow's nest. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty cool. <laughs> so they have to work as a team to try to get through this. So fun. Without touching the ground, all the team. <laughs> all right, now we're going to do the zip line. Got to catch the kids as they come over here and bring them down. Just changing it all the time. All right, just got to sweep up this little area. Got a map there, kids. She is bueno. Good for the art. Mm -hmm. I'm sweeping, looks like sweeping an entire Australian size swimming pool. It's huge, it's gonna take us all day. How does it feel to be a pool boy? I think brooms aren't intended to be sweeping the inside of a pool. Look at the size <laughs> of this thing. It's I huge. It's that big. Woo. It's Australian size. size. Yeah, <laughs> gotta sweep it off. Bam! Tonight we are doing worship service. So we're gonna be playing a little bit of guitar, ukulele and singing with an awesome I forgot what they're called. The tokar thing. Yeah. We are setting up tents for the next group of people. Yeah. Tents. How awesome is that? Look at this. We are setting tables right now. All the cutleries. Yeah, there they are. And then we're gonna go serve at the soup kitchen later. Woo! <laughs> 
we just came back from the uh, soup kitchen and it was just such a wonderful time to um, be able to serve them. The people were so nice. They even actually wanted to help serve as well and they've just been super friendly. And it was just such a warming thing for my heart to actually see the community that they have there and just like how much they choose joy even though in their situations where um, they can't provide food for themselves. So it's been amazing, really cool. With lots of ministry, it includes workout time, Damien doing the pull-ups. Oh yeah. Dan just finished some push-ups. Oh. Exercise. Finish it off with a quick run back home. Yeah, it is a nice little run. Yeah. When there's a camp here, there's a lot of dishes. Oh, Gotta yeah. clean them all. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clean the floors. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Cleaning the floors the good way. Yeah. yeah. We are with the youth. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna help us translate. It's awesome. Yeah. And Maddie is going to be doing a little speech. Uh, giving, the <laughs> the yeah, word, yeah. giving the word. I'm giving the word. And then giving we got the Daniel son over there. Yeah, he's just chatting a lot. It's really good. So awesome. What a guy. <laughs> and the rest of the people. Wee. Today we are gonna make bread with my amigo Damon. He's gonna do oh, all the cool that. stuff. <laughs> we got all the flour. Oh, and the whole kitchen. Got a few more things to roll up and toss the fluffness to, and we are good. Our second last day here, we're just gonna be wiping down chairs, getting them all done, and then we take off. Argentina has been a physically demanding month, but a rewarding one. We got a chance to truly connect with the staff here, help out around the base, and learn how to set up rope courses. The impact the staff and the kids here had on us, as we had on them, was mutually amazing. Please pray for YWAM Mendoza as they continue to serve God in such a wonderful way. Thank <laughs> you.